Hello everybody, I am Duke James, and this is the continuation of my Genoa campaign in EU4 Mew and Taxes. So I just conquered Lesbo and Halkidiki from the Romans, and I'm coring that. I'm thinking about fighting the Ottomans and just jumping on them. And uh, as I was saying, I think in the first part, there are some provinces that are going to be exceptions, and that is the Turkish Straits. These four, actually these two provinces have trade modifiers, but these two do not. But I'll, I think I'll grab these just to complete the Turkish Straits, or the Bosphorus Straits modifier, which gives me an extra 10% trade efficiency. So I'm going to try to jump on the Ottomans. Hopefully this war lasts, should last, Hopefully until I get a claim, and then I can just attack them. Is this for anything specific? It's just the uh, Sultanates of Rum CB. The good thing is that Bulgaria is attacking the Empire of the Romans, so they've occupied these two provinces. So they're going to have like half occupied by the Romans and half occupied by Bulgaria, so that should make that war last at least a couple years extra. Let's see, my force limit is seven. Wait a minute. You get 33% chance of gaining 50 admin power? 50, 50 monarch power. I thought it was 10. That's a lot of monarch power. Yeah, let's go ahead and keep them. How old is he, actually? This guy is 54. We'll keep him anyway. I have the uh, Republican tradition. Man, Republics are great. I have some cash. I think I'm going to save all my money until my development level decreases, possibly. Although, I guess it's a possibility that my development level never decreases, but I doubt that'll happen. At least just a couple couple rungs down. So I'm not paying a billion ducats for each building. 100% construction cost modifier. It's a lot. I'm going to continue to try to expand into the Aegean, which is why I'm going to jump on the Ottomans, because this territory, this area, it's chaos at the beginning of the game. So I could uh, make use of that chaos, grow my power in the Aegean, and then hopefully go into the Tyrrhenian. Like Pisa. They're allied with Siena. Doing claims on the Knights and Aragon for Athens, and then this province. Potentially this province as well. Let's see, my ships were protecting in the Tyrrhenian. I think I'll see what they do when I have them privateer in the Egypt node. There's about 10 ducats there. Maybe I should have them privateer in the Venice node. I'm not allied with anybody in there. Is Venice my rival? Venice is not my rival. Venice has rivaled me. I should rival Venice next. Let's have them go to the Adriatic, see what that gives me. Half a ducats. Huh. Eh. 
Force limit is seven. So something are something always uh, funky goes on with the force limit at the beginning of the game. It always decreases, at least in my experience. Decreases before it increases. So I'm a little hesitant to go up to seven immediately. I think what I will do is delete a spearman. Actually, I'll keep the spearman for now. Build a cav unit. If my force limit goes down to six, I'll delete a spearman. And then when it goes back up, I'll replace it with a merc unit. Let's see. Um, let's go ahead and take the next admin tech. Damn, the Ottomans are over here. That's actually good, because I might be able to... If I grab this province and I have naval superiority, that should keep the Ottomans on the this side. I think I have naval superiority. Just need that claim. 40 power. Hold out. Hold out, Romans. I think they will. I don't... Th uh, so, the Ottomans... I feel like they always take these three provinces at the beginning of the game. So if these two are occupied, they're probably... The Ottomans probably aren't going to peace out until Bulgaria gets out of the war. Bulgaria wants... Bulgaria probably wants this province as well in the peace deal, so... It's probably going to be a stalemate between the two. Hopefully it lasts for... Making one a month, so that's... 25, so two years. It has to last for two years. Grab this claim on the knights. They're in bed with Venice, so I'm going to hold off on that for now. Guild leaders rival nobles status. Let's see, guilds gain 5 influence, the aristocrats loot gains negative 5 influence, I lose 3 prestige, and Anapa gets influential guild members, which gives me local production efficiency for 3 years, or I spend admin power. We'll do that. See, can I do claims over here? No. I have a claim on Synop. We'll do claims on Theodoro. I have to do that on the uh, White Horde first. Do claims on Venice as well. Claims on everybody. Hold out, guys. Let's see, let's decrease income a bit. Not income, army maintenance. 
Just a little bit. Actually, let's do it a little bit more, because if I get attacked, I can always just bounce out of here with the uh, navy. Yes, yeah, pretty much just waiting for a claim on the Ottomans. Bulgaria is focusing on Wallachia. The Ottomans are focusing on Greece. They're both negative, they're both plus 28, I should say. Jump to speed five. Burger corruption is plus one, so I gotta get that down. Gotta try to limit their power. Let's see, I can take a trade advisor. Point six seven ducats for ten percent. Ten percent should be point seven five, so that's actually actually makes me money. Should theoretically. So let's go ahead and do that. Plus I get that extra monarch power, so why not? Education level increased to 7. It was 6 before. Ottoman's navy. Do they have a navy? They have 11 ships. Oh yeah, 4 galleys, 7 transports. I should be able to defeat them. So that should keep them over here. Oh no, okay. So they peaced out. Bulgaria peaced out. So I'm thinking the Ottomans will probably peace out. Shortly afterwards. I don't think they're going to attempt to siege down Constantinople. Let's grab a claim on Athens. Only I had a claim. Pieces allied with Siena and Venice. New coin. Uh, so I can gain ten Republican tradition for fifty admin. I'm gonna head go ahead and say no. We don't need no reform. They did peace out. All right, so. They took one province. No, they didn't take a province. So I think they took this through war dynamism and then they pieced. They white pieced. Okay. But then these provinces got released. So the Empire of the Romans is literally just... Just Constantinople now. Let's 
Probably don't think I'll attack the Ottomans now, because when I attack them, they will get their levies, which I believe, since they were at war, they would have gotten their levies already, and they would have been over on the Europe side. Now they're over here. So I'll try and go somewhere else then. Don't want to fight Venice though, because I imagine Venice's navy would defeat mine. They have one more galley and two more lates. My naval force limit is 17, so I'm over my naval force limit. So I can't build any extra ships. I'm going to go ahead and grab this merchants. Stick him. In. Anywhere that I can. Stick him in the West Mediterranean. Let's build a spy network so I can try and snipe. Constantinople from the Empire of the Romans before the Ottomans. So that war, it's disappointing that I wasn't able to attack them, but they only got Thrace, so... It's not the worst result. Would have liked to have jumped on them, though. So I'm allied with Milan, I gain a favor every three years, and I'm allied with France, I gain a favor every three years. Alright. These guys are a vassal of Bulgaria. Now the uh, Ottomans have attacked Bulgaria. Oh, okay. So, I might be able to, at to attack them yet. It's basically the same thing, except now they're just fighting Bulgaria. Ottomans have 9,000, and Bulgaria has... I don't even see Bulgaria. They have 4,000. It's Bulgaria, Dobrogea, Vidin, and Morea. Don't really expect much help from them. They're tech 6, I should be able to get that right now. So I'm on par with them in terms of tech. So I think I'll attack them after I get the claim. I'll try and get these straights. I'm not sure about Ismit, but at least these two. Then if I grab these two, I think that should give me 5% trade modifier right off the bat. I 
There's something in here. This gives me the Enact uh, Steto Demar gives me 10% trade efficiency for 50 admin. I just need 18 ports. I guess I have four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 right now? So I'd only need four more ports, and this would be two. Couple months. So Bulgaria is going to lose this war, and they're going to get uh, war dynamism on all their provinces. So I should probably... Attack immediately. Was that four ducats? Why am I making four ducats? Let's uh, bump up... Maintenance. Contacts in the Holy See. So I can lose a hundred admin power, but gain a cardinal or gain a hundred admin power. So that's a two hundred admin power swing if I choose this for a cardinal. Yeah, I'm gonna take the admin. It's kind of crazy. Hey, let's grab that claim. And then uh, I will end this part here and then pick it up in the next part and I will fight the Ottomans in the next part. So thank you for watching. I will see you then. Goodbye.